Well, hello YouTube, this is Mark, and today we're going to look at a tricky problem, which is IDML files. If you're a translator and you come across these, or you've just got another job that involves working with IDMLs occasionally, you'll find that you can't open an IDML file to actually look at it and see what the contents layout is, unless you've got a copy of InDesign. Which is great if you have a copy of InDesign, but you might not have the money, it's quite expensive, I think it's about 200 euros for a download. Um, and overall, you might just want to use it once, and maybe you need to look at this file right now. So, there are a few options that you can use. Actually, no, there aren't. I've only found one. It's right in front of you. There's a program called Scribus you can download, um, which will allow you to open an IDML and just take a look at it. So, thank you to the guys who made this piece of wonderful open source, so, so open source software. Excuse me. Um, basically, all you have to do is download it. It's quite a small program. Um, and I'll just show you right now how to open, really easy. So here's Scribus, you'll have to believe me that, um, like you'll see the same thing, I know this is in Russian, but here it just says open, uh, okay, open document. I'm gonna go down to my IDML file, which is just down here. I'm gonna open it up right here. This is just an example file, by the way. And here we go, this is what your file looks like. So um, this will just basically let you see what is going on inside. If you've pulled your, your document out of a cat tool, and you want to see if everything is in the right place, if there's any issues, maybe you want to you know, use that as a springboard to proofread form or just to check that everything is as it should be. But I think that's a really good way to do it. And um, yeah, thanks again to the guys who made Scribus. If this video is useful for you, feel free to subscribe. And um, yeah, see you soon for more amazing tips like this. Have a good evening.